In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Google Home Hub as a digital picture frame. Cue the intro. What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Jim and welcome to the channel. Here, we review smart home product devices and discuss family tech that can help make our lives a little bit easier. So if you're interested in videos like that, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click on that notification bell. I also have my show notes down in the description box below so you can check them out. Also, you can find my affiliate links down there if you wish to support this channel. Thank you. So like I mentioned earlier, if you have a Google Home Hub, you actually have a pretty cool digital frame that you can showcase your photos. And I will show you how to do that right now. Let's get to it. Now, of course, the first thing that you really need is, well, other than the Google Home Hub, huh? is your phone. Now, whether you, uh, you use Android or um, iOS, I believe the process is still the same. All right, so once you have your phone set up and ready, you know, tap on Google Home the Google Home app, and then what you need to do is navigate until you find your Google Home Hub button. Okay, so I'm gonna go look for it, and right there, this is my kitchen hub. So right now, this is what it's showing, basically. So I have it set up to show my uh, pictures. Okay, right? So the next thing you need to do once you have that is tap on the gear icon located on the right hand side right top hand side and then what you need to do is tap on photo frame right there so this is where the magic happens so you have basically four choices okay so you have google photos art gallery full screen claw and experimental you know for the sake of this video what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through all of them but what you really want is the first one google photos so that is the choice that you want if you want to showcase your photos you know using your google home hub now this is without saying that you need to have photos stored in you know google photos because if you don't have any photos in google photos then this will not work i don't think it will anyway so um next one is the art gallery so the art gallery is basically a curated images and artwork by the google ai okay so it borrows quote and quote borrows uh, photos from different locations including getty images and i believe even nasa yeah right there so nasa and google earth um the next one is you need to go to um, the full screen lock. So basically, full screen lock is that. It's it's the screen will show a digital clock face uh, as well as an analog one. You have some choices within, but you know, not that much. It's getting warm in here. Oh my gulai. Okay, so the next one is the experimental this is basically where google uh, will showcase some new content from new sources right now it shows a google weather frog and i don't like it uh did i show you about the full screen lock so here this is the full screen lock those are your choices right now not much but pretty good okay but for this video we actually want to use the google photos so once you tap on Google Photos, it will auto create a slideshow for you depending on uh, what photos or as they call it, memory folder you choose. So, you know, you can select your family and friends, most recent highlights um, or just family and friends and then Sunday and whatever it is like the dates. So these are all auto populated or auto curated by the Google A. I. For me, what I do is I just chose um, family and friends, but you can actually choose recent highlights or even a specific time or day or a specific place. So like I mentioned earlier, these photos are um, auto-populated or auto-curated by the Google AI. You cannot right now, I don't think you can, but you, know, you cannot create your own folder. You can choose recent highlights, you know, but you can't really do your own uh, for, folder at this moment. All right, so once you choose a specific folder, this one, 
it'll ask you after that okay which one you want to show if you're looking into like a, a specific family or friends uh, so you can just choose that or if you want recent highlights you can also do that like I said family and friends this is basically just my family and then what you can do is you could mix them up you know recent highlights family and friends um, this this one this one or you want to go somewhere like in uh, Wednesday in Richmond you can also do that so you can choose as many photos I mean as many albums as you want I believe you can do that so once you've done choosing and that's pretty much it Google Home Hub will automatically acknowledge that and will show your photos all right beautiful people that is it for me thank you for sticking until the end if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and also don't forget to click on that notification bell and please allow me to just plug in two channels that I am starting one channel is music where I basically either uh, play different instruments guitars bass drums and or uh, do a drum cover of some famous songs I guess so that's the first channel and it is called Jigs2 J-I-G-S 2 the number 2 music and the other one is called crypto with Jimbo um, so I'm into cryptocurrency now I've been investing uh, investing since May of this year so I would just want to share my thoughts and even my journey through that channel so crypto with Jimbo please follow me there as well if you're interested in cryptocurrencies and all of that stuff so if you care and <laughs> if you can please uh, consider subscribing on those channels as well jigs to music and crypto with Jimbo all right beautiful people let me just remind you you guys rock and as always I will see you in my next one bye